engines out there. Welcome back to DIY and that. You're about to get a rare treat here. You're going to watch an idiot try to move a thousand pounds worth of machinery by himself with no heavy equipment. So this ought to be very comical. Stick with me here. So that's what I need to move. I bought a uh, very old, very heavy 26 inch bandsaw. As far as the seller and I could determine, it was a Sydney brand, and best guess is that it's pre World War I, but we are not 100% sure. The reason we're thinking that is because if you can see the shaft, how long the shaft is on that, um, that would have originally had a wide pulley on it for a belt driven uh, overhead line power system. It would not have had an individual electric motor. Given that it was a belt-driven machine to begin with, it probably predates World War I. We're not 100% sure with it. Uh, so my plan here is to take my uh, card hydraulic jack and lift up the ends and put furniture dollies underneath it. And then shove it up here and bring it down the uh, trailer ramp into the garage. And once that starts sliding down that ramp, I'm not going to have any control over it, so I'm going to hook this block and tackle to the top of it and uh, use that to ease it down so it just doesn't go flying. Now this uh, this setup is kind of light duty. I think it's rated for 600 pounds, but um, most of the weight of the bandsaw is going to be downward, not along the ramp. So I think that would be perfectly safe to use and uh, we will, I guess we'll find out. The other thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to lift the front of the trailer as much as I possibly can because I want to take that angle out of the, between the trailer and the gate as much as possible so to flatten that out so that uh, we don't run into a hump there. I don't want the, the whole thing to get hung up on there and then it's going to be a big pain to get it down the rest of the way. So uh, let me go get that set up and we'll start lowering it and we'll see how we make out. Oh, also, I, uh, if you're doing something like this, you want to put some chocks under the, t the uh, trailer tires so that the thing uh, doesn't move around on you. In this case, my driveway is not level, and I stuck them under there so it wouldn't slide down the driveway. But uh, you should chalk your wheels regardless to uh, keep the trailer from moving around because that could cause a, a dangerous situation. easier to do that if I put the block under it before I disconnected the trailer from the truck. didn't think about it at the time, but uh, just something to keep in mind. But uh, we got it done. So you can see how much that's flattened that angle. Given the height of the dollies, the furniture dollies, I think we'll be able to go over from the trailer itself onto the tailgate without getting hung up. That was my major concern, and it also reduced the angle between the floor and the uh, edge of the tailgate, so that helps also, so we shouldn't get hung up another spot. So uh, let's get the dollies under it and see how we make out. So, 
hang it up on the gate a little bit, so actually it's turning out that using the jack was better than using a furniture dolly because I can keep lifting it if I need to to get it over the hump. problem here it's falling off the jack and uh, that's not good so I'm going to try to block it up lower the jack and then put the get the jack back where it belongs and uh, and then jack it up again so let's see what we can do here Jack hit the bottom edge of the uh, gate, it shifted and uh, we lost. Uh, it kind of almost fell off it. I don't want the thing to go banging down, so let me see. No, we can't. Let's see what we got here. I have to put this back up. See if we can avoid having that happen. I wasn't anticipating it, so. I'm not too worried at this point about it going out of control because uh, just from how it's going so far, I think I can uh, control it with the jack. So I'm not going to worry about resetting that right now. And uh, famous last words, but let's see how we make out. Oh, I, th I think I know what happened the last time. The, uh, was under there. Put that on there when we put it on the uh, trailer and it's uh, we're going to have to take it out. Yeah. Well, it came off the dolly again, but uh, it's down. It's relatively safe. So uh, we'll pry that back up, get that back under there. And we should be okay. Oh, I see what's happened. We have a, uh, it didn't come off the dolly, it's bound up because of the uh, tailgate. Uh, let's see how we're going to do this.
it's starting to slide off the jack again. I don't want it to fall, so I'm going to let this down and reposition. All right, well, it's in. It's off the trailer. Didn't get hurt. Went fairly smoothly. If I had another person here, it would have been a lot easier, but uh, for one person, it's not bad at all. Worked out okay. So I'm happy about that. The next challenge will be to stand it up. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to do that quite yet, but uh, we'll, we'll think of it. So I, uh, it's on. Let's pull you over here and I can show you sits on this stand that's where it sits right there next to that motor motors a beauty oh that's an old timer look at that thing the, uh, the motor I, I lost the footage when I was taking it out off my truck the motor must weigh 300 pounds I mean that thing is solid and the uh, it's got exposed brushes. You can see the brushes right on there. I bet when it runs, you can see the little sparks coming off it. It's really cool. So, um, and it, it does run well. So we'll have to, uh, we'll just have to paint that up and clean it up a little bit. Might need new bearings. The shaft is a little bit loose, but it does, I, you know, the person I bought it from, it, uh, it worked really good. So, um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I probably could just leave it as is, but I do want to paint it. But the saw has to go on here, and uh, what I was originally going to do is put the get the motor off there, bolt the saw to the base, and then tip the whole thing up at once. However, uh, I do want to repaint it, and it's going to need some body work because the casting is uh, pretty crappy. Um, I don't know whether casting was, uh, that's not sure whether they just did it lousily the first time or uh, it's possible that uh, at some point somebody tried to repaint this and they removed all the factory, they removed all the factory putty that was used to smooth it out. I, I'm a little surprised they would send that out of the uh, factory with the casting looking that crappy. In those days they usually were pretty good about cleaning things up but um, I'm not I'm not really sure. It, uh, but anyway and uh, this is interesting here. There was a shaft to there and you would use that to push the belt, the leather belt onto the pulley that was there and that was the on off switch because the uh, overhead uh, line shaft would run continuously while the shop was open and you would either you would clutch each individual machine onto the uh, onto the shaft and that's uh, that's what that uh, there was the, sh the shaft going through there to do that so I thought that the, the seller told me that I didn't realize what that was that's pretty cool so uh, and as I said this is a uh, has a homemade plywood uh, guard on it. My guess is it didn't have a guard to begin with. A lot of machines at that time did not. So uh, it's it's functional for now. At some point we'll have to make something more appropriate for it, but um, that's down the line. But um, what I was getting at was I don't want to put on the base if I've got to strip all this paint off of here because it's going to make a mess of the base. So um, I'm going to probably going to set it upright and uh, do all the work on it and then I'll have to lay it back down in order to get it on the base I guess um, so that's what I'm thinking right this minute but as you can see I, I changed my mind a lot as needed so that's how an idiot moves a one ton piece of machinery without a forklift using strictly redneck engineering methods so I am tired my back is killing me uh, tomorrow I will be very stiff, but I appreciate you watching. I hope that was entertaining, and uh, we'll see you next time.